Hi, I am uh, Peter. Some people may know me as Daiko. Uh, I'm going to take a look at my collection of SUSE joysticks. Uh, first, I have to say that this is totally unscripted, so I'm just improvising a bit. Uh, well, I've got a collection here. Um, this is probably their first model. It's the SUSE Arcade. It's got a micro switch button. Uh, the stick itself is also micro-switched. I think it's a really great joystick. It's uh, great for Commodore 64 games and other retro systems. Um, well, this was the first model, but they went through a number of revisions. Here's a bash version for the C64. Then, they made this one, the Arcade Turbo. It's uh, a bit different. It's not actually a turbo joystick at all. It only has that name, but it doesn't have turbo fire. Uh, it's pretty pretty much the same as this, except it's got a different it's got a different stick, which isn't as comfortable, but it has an extra button. Um, there's a switch at the at the back, and what this does is basically it switches which one of these is active. Um, but it's not the case for all of their of this of these versions. This one is pretty much the same thing, but there is a small difference. Uh, this one was made for the MSX computer. Uh, it supports two fire buttons, so you have two independent buttons. They're still the same switch, and it uh, switches between these two. But with this one. It only acts as a one switch model, or one button model, so to say. So in that case, it, this, this switch at the back either uh, disables one of these. I don't know why they make two versions of this, but I find it quite remarkable. And then they made this. This is the uh, Prof Competition 9000. Uh, it's basically a clone of the famous Competition Pro. It's not as good. Um, this was made somewhere in the early 90s. Uh, by that time they kind of uh, went downhill with the quality of their joysticks, because this thing is completely made of plastic. While the older models are made of steel. And I find that Quite remarkable. This is really good stuff. This thing is rock solid. I, I really don't know why they changed to the plastic with those layer sticks. I think it was just cost cutting or something. Well, and then we have this. This is the, well, probably their most advanced model, the Prof Competition 9000 Deluxe. Uh, it's got this thing again, it's got the switch again, it's for MSX. And it's got a rapid fire. Well, this one uh, is slightly broken. The rapid fire doesn't really work anymore. But the idea is that you can basically dial the button. And then it turns a pot meter and it changes the rapid fire rate. Um, then there are some other interesting differences between the different revisions. Um, these were originally made with a micro switch fire button, but some of the later models, also of this one and of this one, have a leaf switch in there. And I think that's not as good as a micro switch. I don't know why they changed it, but I, well, I find it strange, especially because the leaf switches have a really well. It can either be too stiff. Or too sloppy. While the uh, micro switch is always always has a positive feel to it. I just think it's better. It has better wear and tear characteristics. Um, then they made some other small changes. For instance, this is the oldest one, and this is a slightly new, slightly newer one. It still has the micro switch, but I don't know if you can see it closely on the camera. But there's a small difference in the stick. This one is a bit, well, it sort of blends in. 
and it also has a different texture. Whereas this one, it's kind of sits on top of there, and it, well, it has a harsher transition in here. Well, this one is well, sort of curved. It's just a small difference, and it's really a nuisance. But oh, and another thing, the the spring in here is different too. It's it's made of rubber. Um, originally, these ones had a kind of soft black rubber in there, and it's, well, it's really nice. Especially if you, I don't know if it works here, but if you put it on the table and you, okay, it, it just it vibrates really nicely. And these later sticks, they use a slightly different kind of rubber, which is harder, and it's, well, it's it can get brittle actually. It's just like an old garden hose. And I think there's some softener in the rubber that uh, kind of evaporates, and it, plus the rubber itself kind of becomes brittle. It's slightly, sus well, it, it has a small tendency to crack over time, but still it's not really a big deal. It's still great, but it's just, well, it, it just feels a bit different. But other than that, it's not really that different at all. But, well, there's just a few minor revisions they went through, I guess. Well, next up, I'm gonna crack one of these open and let's look what's inside.